Today I'll be showing you Twix by Beltress in the color Root Beer Float Blonde. Hi guys, welcome! So today I'm going to be showing you all a new style here by Beltress. This is Twix. I'll be bringing this review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. So be sure to head over to Name Brand Wigs if you ever have any wig related questions or you just need help picking out that perfect color or wig. You can always email them at support at namebrandwigs.com or you can always just pick up that phone and give them a call. They're there, happy, and ready to help. I also have a coupon code. It is Kim30. You can use there at Name Brand Wigs, and you can use that on selected brands. So be sure to check in my description box which brands that code's good for. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and dive in and start talking about the elephant in the room, <laughs> and that is this girl on my head. This one is some big hair. This one is some big hair. So if you are not someone that wears wigs a lot or if you're new to wigs I would not recommend Twix to be your first wig however this girl is absolutely up my alley I love this sort of hair I love big curly hair but it took me a while to have the confidence to even put something on my head that had this much hair and this much curls I, when I first started wearing wigs, I remember even sending back my first two wigs I ever ordered. <laughs> and it was because they had permatease in them, and I didn't know even what permatease was, and it was, it was just big hair. And it was overwhelming for someone like me that had very fine, thin hair. While we're talking about fine, thin hair, yes, I was born with very fine, thin hair. After I was diagnosed with having an autoimmune disease, Graves disease, back in 2003, I took a big pill. I think I've told this story <laughs> years ago, but just in case you're new to my channel, uh, I'd like to explain another reason I wear wigs is I took this big pill, which is radioactive iodine. And once I did that, it destroyed my thyroid, which some of you are familiar with that follow me. And we chit chat back and forth sometimes about our Graves disease. But after that, my hair really, really started to thin and was falling out and it, it just never never recovered from it so that's another reason i wear wigs but if you are a fan like i am of these big curly beautiful wigs this hair you're most definitely going to love twix twix features an extended lace front left mono part she has heat friendly fibers which I thought, well, that could work out really, really well if you wanted to kind of tone these curls down just a tad. You may could use some steam on her. I do not have a hair steamer right now. I have given mine away. <laughs> I thought someone else needed it just a little bit more than I did. And I also have my hair straightened straightener steamer which I'm not using on this one but just the steamer itself I, I have given that one away so I can't experiment to see if that would work to tell you guys if you know if it would work if you have Twix or really curly hair and you've tried steam to tone it down let me know in the comments how to work did it work good did it not I'm kind of curious and she has an average size cap Twix has this extended temple to temple lace front. She also has an extended left mono part here. Bendable ear tabs. Full adjustable straps. And as you can see, I have those girls tightened really tight to fit my petite size head. She does have an extended felt nape. And she's open wefted throughout the rest of the cap and she has lots of stretch to her 
So if you have a larger than average size head and you want Twix, I think she'll fit you just fine. This one is fitting me quite big. Again, here lately, several of my wigs that I'm getting, they are coming as an average size, but I'm I'm finding that with my petite size head, measuring 21 inches in circumference, that the caps are fitting me really, really large. And this one is too. I have this girl tightened up as tight as I can get her. And I'm also wearing my hair grip under here to give me that added support that I need and comfort. You may notice that I do have her pulled back. I have had this one pulled back for probably two, two and a half hours, or maybe even three now. I don't have my watch on, so I, I don't know. It could be three hours by now. And I did that because it is a lot of hair and it wanted to fall right down into my face. So I pinned it back, spritzed a little water on it, let that dry. It took probably 10, 15 minutes because I didn't soak it, of course. And then I went in and sprayed a little bit of synthetic safe hairspray in hopes that it's going to start training those bangs to go back and stay out of my face. So we're going to test it right here together. As you can see that hairspray, so I don't want to mess with it too much because I want it to stay back away from the face. And yes, it, it's, it works. It works. That is a good little tip that I had learned from a wig sister, goodness, a year or two ago. They used to, to do that. So I, after learning that, I always did that as well. I could also go in and spritz some water all over her and probably tame it down to where it's not as big, but it's not bothering me. I like it. I might even want to mess with it and run my fingers through it. I will not comb this hair. <laughs> that I will not. I'll just use my fingers to get in there and manipulate some of those curls if I want to get, you know, even bigger. Now, I do not feel any permities in this wig at all. However, I don't think she needs any. She has quite a bit of volume already going on just from these curls. The measurements on Twix is the sides here are 13 to 14 inches. The nape is 9.5 inches, and she has an overall length of 17.5 inches. And this girl weighs 6.6 .6 ounces. I was shocked she even weighed 6.6 .6 ounces. I was thinking she was gonna weigh more than that, actually, just because she has so much hair. But these fibers are really, really lightweight, and the way the curl is so it's it's not heavy at all i personally like this hair i like it a lot and i just saw that belle tress is coming out with a shorter version of this girl and i think it's amber rocks or something like that i want that one as well oh my goodness i cannot wait to order that one guys i was thinking that as I was playing with this beautiful hair that I am just really, really a little bit emotional because um, I'm thinking these wig manufacturers out there that are making all of this hair for us, they are really getting it right. They are so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, they are really getting it right. And if you are going through a hair loss journey and you, you're losing your hair, you've lost your hair, or you just love some big hair or not so big hair, they have us covered. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make here is that they make short, shoulder length, medium length, long length, straight, curly, and then they come out with something like this. <laughs> something that I've been dreaming of, and no, I wasn't born with this, but if you were born with this gorgeous curly hair and you're losing your hair, <laughs> Beltress has you covered right now. <laughs> it made me start thinking about all these 
manufacturers that are out there and they're designing and creating new styles and they come out with something like this and the more I'm playing and everything and looking at this and I'm thinking oh my gosh Beltress really hit the nail on the head in my opinion because we we're all different and look what they just created i love this i love this and yes i have cried tears plenty of tears uh, with my wigs before but i'm just thinking about people that were born with hair like this and that they are losing it but beltress stepped up and gave you back your hair so to speak you know and that just touched me that just touched me while i was in there playing so i thought i'd just share that so just wanted to say thank you <laughs> thank you for making beautiful hair i just want to thank all of the manufacturers that are making this hair for us now let me show y'all her all the way around I like her I like her so this is gonna be one of those styles that you're either just gonna love or just gonna hate it's a preference here it is your personal preference and don't be too hard on me in the comments um, I just love curly hair and it's making me smile and it's making me happy and really that's all that matters so if you get that wig and someone else wants to say something not so nice and if it's making you happy really it took me a long time to learn this that's all that really matters i mean even i walked in the room with this on and i to show my husband and he was like whoa that that's a that's a lot of hair <laughs> and I was like, I know, I love it, you know, and he seen it was making me happy. And he encourages me instead of discourages me. Um, so I appreciate that. And then after wearing it for the rest of the evening and pulling it back away from the face and playing with it and doing things, he was like, you know, Kim, I, I'm starting to really like that hair on you as well. So either sometimes you need to give that partner that person or a family member a friend whoever a little bit time to let them get used to you having different hair maybe a different color a different style a whole other hair a little bit of hair long hair short hair whatever it may be sometimes we have to give that other that our other people in our lives that time to adjust as well and, and that took me a little while to learn too because I used to be so offended <laughs> and my feelings was hurt easily when my husband would be like um no I, I'm not really liking that color on you and or I'm not liking that style but I liked it so I wanted him to automatically like it and that's not fair and I, I had to to learn that hey we're different and it's okay if somebody don't like it and you do just embrace it and be happy I've lost so many loved ones in the last couple of years and life is just a favor so be happy enjoy life and wear the hair just wear the hair that makes you happy the color root beer float blonde is a blend of light pearl blonde ash blonde, beige blonde, champagne blonde, and a hint of platinum blonde. This color is so beautiful in real life, guys. It is so pretty. Okay, now with all that being said, thank you all so much for joining me today. But before you go, be sure to subscribe, share, like, and comment. And if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can find me over there at Let's Talk with Kim. Stay well, my friends, and I'll be seeing you soon in another video. Bye, guys.